Hey there, happy Terminology Tuesday. I'm Steve Humphrey. This is Terminology Tuesday where we talk about fitness and nutrition terms. Um, today I want to talk about science. We hear a lot about science recently. Um, science has been in the news a lot. Follow the science, all kinds of good stuff. I love science, I really do. Um, let's start off with the textbook definition of what science is, okay? The pursuit and application of knowledge and understanding of the natural and social world following a systematic methodology based on evidence. That's a lot of words. Um, what I like to do in cases like this where a definition is kind of wordy like that, highlight what it is I think are the key words in the definition. In this case, I'm gonna look at knowledge of the world based on evidence. Perfect example, the easiest example that I can come up with is gravity. We all know what gravity is, right? If I take this ball and I drop it, it's going to bounce. If I take this highlighter and drop it, it's just going to fall on the floor. It's not going to bounce, right? If I take this glass, I'm not going to. <laughs> we know it's going to fall on the floor and probably break. We know this because we've seen it happen. We've, we've experienced gravity our entire lives. It's what keeps us on the planet. Um, if for some reason we change something in that scientific experiment, because rudimentarily that's what we just did was a scientific experiment. We proved gravity exists. Um, but if we change venues and we take this ball to the moon and we drop it, I can't do it here obviously because of gravity, it's not going to fall, right? Um, so that's basically science. It has to be repeatable. So where I'm standing here on planet Earth in Seneca, South Carolina, if I drop that ball 100% of the time, it's going to fall to the ground, right? Unless something changes, um, you know, it's, it's going to bounce so, unless it falls on a pillow or, you know, something other than the solid surface floor that I'm standing on. Um, so that is in a, in a nutshell science with a really simple example. It has to be repeatable. Um, you've heard me say in other videos, there's 8 billion of us on the planet. There's obviously different science that's going to go on with me in my body that's not going to, that's going to work one way for me and a different way for other people, okay? I'm going to respond, uh, my body's going to respond differently to foods, uh, to chemicals that I put in it, whether they be medications or supplements or anything like that. Um, my body's going to respond differently to exercise than other people's bodies. I, you know, may, I will probably be able to lift more weight than some and not nearly as much as others. That's just how our bodies are. The big takeaway about, from this is when it comes to your bodies and your fitness and your nutrition, science is going to vary widely um, based on who you are and your DNA. So that in a nutshell, really, really quick and simple, in my opinion, is science. Knowledge of the world based on evidence. You can't show me the evidence, I'm not going to buy it as science. Have an awesome day.